be back and I have been wanting to do like a black smoky completely over the top exaggerated look for a very long time and recently I came across one of Rihanna's old magazine cover shoes well when I say old it's probably about a month or two old this was her cover for Harper's Bazaar where she's got this really pretty dramatic bold black eyes and a really pretty red lip and it's not often that I really wear very dramatic eyes and a bold lip along with it so i really wanted to do one inspired by that so if you'd like to find out how to achieve this look then please keep watching first i'm going to apply a brow highlight and i'm using this light color for my Marc jacobs 206 the lolita nude palette then i'm taking my mac nw43 powder and it's got a light orange undertone and i'm going to apply that to the crease. Then I'm going to take this dark brown color from my Marc Jacobs palette and just define my crease a little bit. Then I'm going to blend it out with the first color that we applied on the crease. Next, using a bent liner brush and my MAC Black Track Fluid Line, I'm going to draw a really winged eyeliner first. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to um, color the whole lid black. So after drawing a very uh, basic liner, I'm going to start defining my tear ducts and I'm going to make it really sharp, pointed and exaggerated. I'm going to drag the liner down quite a bit. And after I've done my tear ducts, I'm going to define my outer wing and to define my outer wing what I'm going to do is draw a line which is parallel from the corner of my eye to um, almost the end of my eyebrow then using an angled liner brush I'm going to start drawing a line to define the crease Now I'm going to switch back to my bent angle liner and I'm going to start connecting the crease to my tear ducts. And once I've defined the black outline, I'm going to start filling it in. Then I'm going to take my black crayon from Mikiaji and I'm going to make sure that my lids are completely charcoal black and that there's no skin showing through. I'm going to line my waterline using MAC Pencil in Smolder. And after that I'm going to define my lower inner tear ducts. Once I finish my top lids, I'm going to take some more of my MAC NW43 and apply it to my bottom lids. I'm going to take some more of NW43 and just smudge my um, lower lids. I'm going to clean out the edges using some makeup remover on a Q-tip. I'm going to apply some concealer over it. Then I'm going to apply some powder over it. Also going to apply some powder uh, below my eyes. Oops, I almost forgot. I'm going to take a matte black eyeshadow and this one's from Mikiaji. I'm going to apply it over the black gel liner just to seal it in. I'm going to apply my mascara and I'm using Helena Rubinstein's Cerealist Everfresh. Then I'm going to stick these really dramatic eyelashes. On my lips, I'm using the shade Ruby Woo from MAC. I'm 
And for my cheeks, I'm using the shade Swiss Dot from The Balm. Now what I did off camera was remove some black from the sides because it was too much. By the time I finished the whole look, I realized that I had overdone it. So using a Q-tip and some makeup remover, I just cleaned the sides a bit. And this is the final look. Inspired by Rihanna's look from Harper's Bazaar Saudi Edition. So this is the final look. While I was doing this look, I realized that I was overdoing the tear ducts a bit, so I took some off with a makeup remover off camera. And the makeup remover that I like to use, well, if you need something really strong to clean such strong black gel eyeliner. So I love the Clinique makeup remover. I use this a lot with a, a Q-tip and it always does a fantastic job. So I hope you all really like this look and thank you so much. I never really get to thank you guys for the wonderful comments that you write on my videos. Thank you so much for that. I know that you've all been requesting a skincare tutorial. It's just that I'm not big on skin and hair care. I'm too lazy for that, but I'll try to make one really soon. Also, you've all been asking for a husband tag. And unfortunately, my husband is not the most camera friendly person, so he's not agreed to do it. But you know what, he's in the living room right now and let me see if I can get him on camera. Shh. So I'm gonna be really quiet because he does not want to be in front of the camera and I'm gonna surprise him. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Baby. Got you in camera! <laughs>